It may have started as a humble comic convention, but Fan Expo has grown to the largest event of its kind in Canada, with 130,000 people expected this weekend. So, let's take a look around. So welcome to my world. Now, Fan Expo covers all kinds of fandom. Behind me, you can see, of course, the comic books, all sorts of uh, books you can buy, many hundreds of artists here. Video games have a massive presence here. In the distance, you can see Blizzard Entertainment. Of course, a lot of the big broadcasters promoting their own movies. But another new element this year, Fan Expo always getting bigger, is actually wrestling. WWE stars are here this weekend, and fans are lining up to meet. Triple H, AJ Styles, and that seems to be bringing even more people into the convention. I mean, it's nice to see the people having a good time and dressing up, but we're strictly here for the autographs and the wrestling. Now, a big part of Fan Expo is, of course, the costumes. I left mine at home today. They call it cosplay. Some people, like the uh, family behind me, they do it just for fun, just to have something cool to stop and take pictures. But for the professionals, this year at Fan Expo, there's a new event, the Master of Cosplay Grand Prix, where finalists from other conventions will be competing here in Toronto. Could be the people right behind me, and the winner receives $5,000. Now, if you're looking for a little more action, something else that's new to Fan Expo this year are the escape rooms. There is a Harry Potter-themed escape room, but if you're not up on your Hogwarts knowledge, there's also a Doctor Who. Oh, sorry, the escape room. Maybe we'll be escaping from that guy. Just be nice to him. <laughs> Perhaps the most anticipated event is a blast from the past. I'm talking about Back to the Future, the cast reunion taking place Friday night where Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Leia Thompson, and Biff, Tom Wilson, will all be together on stage here at Fan Expo. Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto.